हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव टू स्टार्ट न्यू टॉपिक फ्लूड्स इन मोशन फर्स्ट वी हैव टू सी वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट एंड इट इज डेनोटेड बाय डी वी बाय डी एक्स द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी विथ डिस्टेंस मेजर्ड फ्रॉम फिक्स लेयर इज कॉल्ड एज वेलोसिटी ग्रेडियंट नाउ यर वेलॉस चेंज ऑफ वेलोसिटी डेनोटेड बाय डी वी एंड डिस्टेंस इज डी एक्स एंड देर फोर वेलॉसिटी ग्रेडियंट इज इक्वल टू डी वी बाय डी एक्स मीन्स चेंज ऑफ वेलॉसिटी पर यूनिट डिस्टन्स एस आई यूनिट ऑफ वेलॉसिटी ग्रेडियंट इज पर सेकंड और हर्ड्स डायमेंशंस एम जीरो एल एल जीरो टी माइनस वन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक न्यूटन्स लॉ ऑफ विस्कॉसिटी According to Newton's law of viscosity, viscous force is directly proportional to area of the layer. Second one is velocity gradient. Viscous force is directly proportional to area of the layer, and second one is velocity gradient. Here, viscous force is denoted by F. Area of the layer is capital A, and velocity gradient is d v by d x. Therefore, F is proportional to a into dv by dx. F is proportional to a into dv by dx. Therefore, F is equal to a eta dv by dx. Here, eta is the proportionality constant and is called as coefficient of viscosity. It is called as coefficient of viscosity. And from this equation, F is equal to a eta dv by dx. Rearranging this equation, we have to get eta. Eta means coefficient of viscosity, and eta is equal to f upon a, f upon a into dv by dx. Means here definition of coefficient of viscosity is the viscous force acting per unit area per unit velocity gradient for given layer is called as coefficient of viscosity. SI unit is newton second per meter square cgs unit is dyn second per centimeter square the cgs unit is also called as voice 1 newton second per meter square is equal to 10 voice next is stokes law the viscous force sorry the viscous force f acting on a small spherical ball falling through a viscous medium is directly proportional to the radius of the sphere its velocity through the fluid and the coefficient of the fluid means viscous force is directly proportional to radius of sphere velocity gradient sorry velocity through the fluid and coefficient of viscosity therefore f f v is directly proportional to eta r v where f v means viscous force and therefore f is f v is directly proportional to eta r v where eta means coefficient of viscosity r is radius of sphere and v is velocity through the fluid therefore we have to write f v is equal to 6 pi eta r v where 6 pi is the proportionality constant therefore we have to give the stokes law f v is equal to 6 pi eta r v next topic is terminal velocity now we are consider consider here a small sphere of radius r consider here small sphere and having radius is r and density is rho is falling through the medium of density rho and coefficient of viscosity eta the sphere will attain constant terminal velocity v constant terminal velocity v when total downward force acting on the sphere is equal to total upward force acting on it 
therefore total upward force is equal to viscous force plus up thrust force sorry up thrust due to medium and therefore total upward force is equal to viscous force 6 pi eta rv plus 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma g the spare will attain constant terminal velocity when total upward force is equal to total downward force and therefore total upward force is 6 pi eta rv plus 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma g and total downward force is 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g then rearranging the equations 6 pi eta rv as it is equal to 4 by 3 pi r pi cube rho g as it is here 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma g is shifted here here is a plus sign and therefore we have to write here minus and therefore 6 pi eta rv is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube rho g minus 4 by 3 pi r cube sigma g here in these two two terms all terms are same only difference is density therefore 6 pi eta rv is equal to 4 by 3 pi r cube into g inside bracket rho minus g again here we have to divide by 2 and then we have to get 6 eta v here pi pi gets cancelled 3 eta v is equal to 2 by 3 r square g inside bracket rho minus sigma and therefore v is equal to 2 upon 3 into 3 r square g inside bracket rho minus sigma upon eta and therefore we have to get v v is equal to or terminal velocity v is equal to 2 upon 9 r square g inside bracket rho minus sigma upon eta and this is the expression for the terminal velocity eta uh, expression for terminal velocity and then we have to calculate co sorry we have to calculate coefficient of viscosity and there, that nothing but the eta is equal to 2 by 9 rearranging the this, rearranging this equation we get eta is equal to 2 by 9 r square g inside bracket rho minus sigma upon v and this equation gives coefficient of viscosity next topic is equation of continuity now here for a pipe of a different cross sections the velocity of incompressible fluid is variable the fluid flows faster through the small cross section and slower through the wide cross section by conservation of a mass the mass of a fluid entering the section a is equal to mass of a fluid leaving the section a2 it means mass of a fluid in section e f g h here e f g h in this section of mass of a fluid in this section e f g h and that is equal to mass of a fluid in section p q r yes that is the equation of continuity therefore we have to get rho a1 v1 delta t is equal to rho a2 v2 delta here rho rho gets cancelled here rho rho gets cancelled delta theta de sorry delta t delta t gets cancelled and therefore we have to get a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 or a1 a v is equal to constant this is the equation of continuity a v is the volume rate of flow of fluid that is a v is equal to d v upon d t the quantity d v by d t is called as volume flux here volume flux means the volume of a fluid per unit time passing through any cross section of a flow tube similarly 
rho into dv by dt is equal to dm upon dt and that is called as mass flux. Thank you.